Hello students, I am Sachitraka. Welcome to Cars Physics. We are continuing moving charge and magnetism. Okay, in this lecture we will discuss cyclotron. We will discuss what is cyclotron. Okay, and under what principle cyclotron means an instrument cyclotron works and what is construction of cyclotron and what are different uses of cyclotron. Okay, let's start. So in previous lectures we have discussed motion of charged particle in uniform magnetic field. Okay, and also in electrostatics, in electrostatics we have discussed force experienced by a charged particle in a uniform electric field. Okay, then let's discuss about first about electric field. Okay, suppose in this space I am representing an uniform electric field. Okay. And as we know, direction of electric field is from high potential to low potential. Okay. Suppose we do place an we do place a positively charged particle. Charge of the particle is plus Q and mass of the particle is m. Then what do we have? So as we have discussed, if a charge is either at rest or in motion, if a charge is either at rest or in motion in an uniform electric field, then it experiences a force. And if charge is positive, then it experiences a force parallel to the direction of electric field and of course we know magnitude of force experienced by the charged particle is QE. If force is QE then acceleration of charged particle is force of a mass means acceleration is equal to QE divided by mass. Thus it is very clear that if a charged particle is either at rest or moves in electric field then it experiences a constant force because electric field is uniform so force is constant means the charged particle is uniformly accelerated in the electric field and this is magnitude of acceleration. Okay? means the velocity of charged particle will go on increasing. So, if a charged particle is released in an uniform electric field, it will accelerate. If the charge is positive, then it is accelerated along the direction of electric field, means magnitude of velocity of charged particle goes on increasing. Number one. Okay. Again, we have discussed motion of charged particle in uniform magnetic field and we have discussed the various aspects means if charged particle is projected parallel or anti-parallel to the magnetic field or charged particle projected perpendicular to the direction of magnetic field and here we are discussing if a charged particle is projected at an angle 90 degree to an uniform magnetic field. Suppose I do represent an uniform magnetic field. Cross field means here magnetic field is directed inwards perpendicular to this plane and inwards. This uniform magnetic field is B. Okay. So as we have discussed if a charged particle is at rest in an uniform magnetic field, then force experienced by the charged particle is G. We have discussed that force experienced by charged particle is Q into V cross B or magnitude of force experienced by charged particle is Q 
मैग्नेटिक फील्ड विथ ए वेलोसिटी भी सी डिरेक्शन ऑफ वेलोसिटी पैरेलल टू द प्लेन एंड डिरेक्शन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड परपेंडिकुलर टू द प्लेन लाइक दिस मींस हियर एंगल बिटवीन वी एंड बी थीटा इज 90 डिग्री देन फोर्स एक्सपीरियंस बाय द चार्ज पार्टिकल मींस मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ फोर्स इज मैक्सिमम एंड दैट्स इक्वल्स टू क्यू वी and as we have discussed if a charged particle is projected to a magnetic field perpendicular then this is magnitude of force and of course we know the force experienced by charged particle is perpendicular to the direction of velocity if force is perpendicular to direction of velocity then the force is not Used to increase or decrease the magnitude of velocity. If force is perpendicular to velocity, it only changes the direction. And as we have discussed, the charged particle will move in a circle. And since magnitude of velocity is constant, means speed of the charged particle, speed of the charged particle remains. Constant. Okay. So these are the two concepts of motion of charged particle in uniform electric field and uniform magnetic field. Okay. Charged particle moving in electric field parallel to the direction, then it is in accelerated motion, velocity increases, and in this case, charged particle is moving perpendicular to the direction of magnetic field. so speed remains constant only direction changes and path is circular and this force this force experienced by charged particle this force experienced by the charged particle provides necessary centripetal force and we have discussed q v v is equal to centripetal force and we have found Q V V is centripetal force. Means centripetal force is m v square by r, and we have got the relation of radius that is equals to m v by Q. And from this we have got speed of the charged particle is Q V R by m. And of course we have found time period. If radius of circle is r. Then distance, total distance is two by divided by speed. Speed is q v r by m, and here time period is two by m divided by q. If time period is two by m by q, then obviously frequency reciprocal of time period. Then frequency is q v by two pi m. And all other discussions will be will be discussed gradually. Just observe it. Okay, these are the previous concepts, and this is uh, motion of charged particle in the uniform electric field. We have already discussed all these concepts. Fine. Now, what's a cyclotron? What is a cyclotron? साइक्लोट्रॉन इज ए मेसिन साइक्लोट्रॉन इज ए डिवाइस और साइक्लोट्रॉन इज एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट ओके इट्स ए डिवाइस इट्स ए डिवाइस यूज्ड टू एक्सेलरेट ए चार्ज पार्टिकल ए चार्ज पार्टिकल साइक्लोट्रॉन इज ए डिवाइस यूज टू एक्सेलरेट ए चार्ज पार्टिकल यूज टू एक्सेलरेट चार्ज पार्टिकल 
This is the basic definition of cyclotron. Cyclotron is an instrument or cyclotron is an device which is used to accelerate charge particle. Okay. Then what is need to accelerate a charge particle? What is need to accelerate a charge particle? Okay. Means we are directly going the discussion uses of cyclotron. What are uses of cyclotron? So charge particle is accelerated by the help of the device called as cyclotron. Then what is concept behind it we will discuss but now we do discuss what is what are uses of cyclotron. See the simple concept. If a charge particle is continuously accelerated, then its speed goes on increasing. Okay. And finally, the velocity of charge particle becomes very high. Okay. And if a charge particle moving with very high velocity strikes on a target, then it may produce nuclear reaction. So, use a subcyclotron to produce to produce nuclear reaction. To produce nuclear reaction, cyclotron is used to produce nuclear reaction. Okay, as we know. Uh, it will be discussed in later stage. Uh, new, to produce nuclear reaction, bombardment of charge particle takes place against a target. Bombardment of charge particle takes place against a target so that nuclear reaction takes place. Okay. Second, or to, or to study, or to study. Nuclear reaction. To produce nuclear reaction or to study nuclear reaction. Okay. Then next is to produce a radioactive decay. These are all under. Uh, nuclear physics to produce radioactive decay. Okay. Number three. Suppose we want to standardize a metal. We have to standardize metal for industrial purpose and different uh, uh, purposes are there to standardize a metal. Means to develop the quality of a metal to develop quality of a metal okay means uh, to develop quality of a metal we have to we have to insert positively charged ions into the metals okay suppose suppose this is a metal and we know usually metals are solid can a charge particles, positively charged particle enter into it? No. Yes, a charge particle can be imparted with high velocity, with high velocity to the metal so that it can insert into the metal, into the metal. Okay. It means, it means to impart impact ions into metal to impact ions into metal and ions are positive ions positive ions means positive ions can be imparted to the metal if the positive ions are projected with high velocity to the metal so that it can pass into the metal. So we can develop quality of metal. We can develop 
quality of metal and also there are several uses of cyclotron. These are some uses. Okay. Definition and uses of cyclotron. Okay. Then finally we are going to discuss principle. Working principle of cyclotron. Working principle of cyclotron, see now we have discussed. If a charge particle is projected into a magnetic field at an angle 90 degree, then it will follow a circular path. Means the nature of trajectory is circular, but speed remains constant. Speed will not increase. So force experienced by the charge particle while moving at an angle 90 degree to the magnetic field provides centripetal force and it moves in a circle but speed remains constant. The centripetal force is only used to change the direction of speed. So it means magnetic field can't increase the speed. Means if charge particle, if charge particle moves perpendicular moves perpendicular perpendicularly in a magnetic field it moves in a circle but Speed remains constant. So magnetic field, if we project a charge particle at an, at an angle 90 degree to a magnetic field, then its speed will not increase. But our aim is to accelerate the charge particle so that its speed will increase. Our aim is to increase the speed. Yes, we know. If a charge particle If a charge particle moves in electric field, we are assuming uniform electric field, electric field, then motion is, motion is accelerated. Okay. If a charge particle moves in electric field, uniform electric field, then it uh, motion is accelerated means speed can be increased. But in uniform magnetic field, charge projected perpendicularly to the direction of field, then speed will not change. Okay. So, to increase the speed, see, the final speed is V, final velocity is V, as we know, v square is equal to u square plus 2s. So, this is final speed and this is total distance cover. To have more speed, more distance is to be covered. To have more speed, more distance is to be covered. But we can't extend the electric field to such a long distance, such a larger distance, so that we can achieve our required velocity. Okay, this is the concept. So, how to increase the distance so that speed will be increased? Again, you will know, electric field is dv by dr, magnitude of electric field is dv by dr. If I am taking here, this is a positively charged plate or this is a negatively charged plate or this is electric field. If distance is less, then electric field is more. Distance is dr. If distance is less, then electric field is more. Okay. So, first thing, acceleration. In electric field, acceleration is QE by mass to increase velocity we need 
मोर एक्सेलरेटेड मोशन टू हैव मोर एक्सेलरेटेड मोशन मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड शुड बी स्ट्रांगर एंड टू हैव स्ट्रांगर इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द टू ऑपोजिटली चार्ज प्लेट्स शुड बी स्मॉल इफ डिस्टेंस इज स्मॉल देन मैग्नेटिक मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड विल विल बी स्ट्रांगर एंड इफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज स्ट्रांगर देन ऑब्वियसली एक्सेलरेशन इज मोर ओके just uh, comply this we have to keep the charge particle moving in longer distance number 1 again distance between two oppositely charged plates means uh, uh, to oppositely between positively charged plate and negatively charged plate distance should be small if distance is small then speed will less speed will less then both both the requirements are there we have to increase the distance again we have to get more velocity means speed of the charged particle then what we have to do so in cyclotron we do use both the fields means both magnetic field and electric field see if charge particle moves in magnetic field projected into magnetic field at an angle 90 degree it will move in circle if we can increase the radius of circular path continuously then distance will increase number 1 and again if distance between positive means high potential and low potential terminal c is less then stronger will be electric field if electric field is stronger acceleration is more one thing is achieved if distance is more then speed will be more means we can achieve the required speed what we need okay so using this concept using this principle will construct a cyclotron is this clear again just review in cyclotron we do accelerate charge particles okay and we do increase speed of positively charged particle why not negative charged particle we will discuss we will discuss okay so increase the speed electric field is required means more acceleration more will be increase in speed okay so electric field should be stronger to have stronger electric field distance between to opposite potential should be small they are should be small okay so that acceleration will more because the electric field is stronger acceleration is more again to have more speed the charged particle should travel more distance both can't be achieved by using electric field so that we are taking help of both the magnetic field and electric field okay so what is a cyclotron uses of cyclotron of course there are again some there some different uses are there and finally working principle we have to use both electric and magnetic field how electric and magnetic fields are used we'll discuss let's go to construction of cyclotron okay construction construction of cyclotron very easier discussion just to understand the concept and it will you will find it very easier not very 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 easy okay just imagine just imagine this is this is a horizontal surface this is a horizontal plane or horizontal surface you may imagine 
this is the table top this is the table top like this the horizontal surface this is the table top okay body is vertical of course <laughs> but we are considering a horizontal surface this is my table top i am using this horizontal surface okay then what is hypotenuse we are discussing construction construction of cyclotron construction of cyclotron cyclotron or it consists of it consists of two hollow metallic d shape conducting containers cyclotron consists of two hollow metallic d shaped d shaped conducting containers conducting containers means uh, metal containers conducting or metal containers okay D shaped, D shaped hollow conducting containers. Okay, D shaped. Just to think, uh, a container, a circular container, having some thickness, cut it into two parts. Cut into two parts. You have seen many things are uh, um, delivered, packing some food item. some food item like uh, pizza box and uh, some dry fruit box circular box okay hollow box okay dry fruits are packed in it just cut it into two parts okay three dimensional view so this is one part this is one part and this is other part this is other part of the circular container and this is a hollow container we have cut into two parts c the shape will appear as d the shape will appear as d Shape appears as D. Okay. This is three dimensional. Okay, and this is also three dimensional. This is one D. Say this D is D one. and this is another d shaped okay so three dimensional view and here also the same thing three dimensional view These are two D shaped hollow metallic containers. Let's this D shaped hollow container is a D, and these are called as D two hollow metallic D shaped containing conducting containers called as D. Let's name it as D one and name it as D two. okay then about magnetic field 
and the electric field. Okay. Then how to apply magnetic field? As I have discussed, this is this is a horizontal surface on this. I have kept to D-shaped hollow metallic conductors. Okay. Then just bottom of it. Bottom of this horizontal surface, we have kept an electromagnet, north pole, and above it, south pole of electromagnet. Okay, north pole are the bottom of this horizontal surface, and south pole just above the horizontal surface means above the D, two Ds. Okay. And since it is three dimensional diagram, I am showing here. This is north pole, and here this is south. See, if north pole is at the bottom of this surface, these are two D's are kept on it, and here there is north pole, above it it is south pole. And as you know. Magnetic field lines are from north to south pole. North to south pole. Okay. And here, north pole is just behind the white board and south pole is just above the white board. Then here, in this case, magnetic field lines are perpendicular to the plane of the D's and in outward direction. Magnetic field is in outward direction and perpendicular to the plane of the D's. And here we are taking magnetic field's dot field. Magnetic field is uniform and uniform magnetic field is a dot field. Okay. Representation of magnetic field and magnetic field is here the magnetic field B in outward direction. That like this. So we have applied magnetic field. Then we have to apply electric field. How to apply electric field? Okay. Here DC source is not applied. Here we are using source of alternating current AC source. See. The two D's are connected to a source of Alternating current AC. This is AC. So, what is characteristics of AC? Alternating current here time is zero. You may take alternative EMF or alternating current. This is positive and this is negative. If total time taken. For one complete cycle, alternating wave, and you know, T is time period for one complete vibration, one complete oscillation, and this is for one complete wave, sorry, this is negative, okay, and for half the cycle, time is T by 2, this is AC. Alternating current AC or AC voltage alternating EMF magnitude changes continuously but direction changes periodically. See, half the time for positive half cycle, next half time again this is T by 2 for negative half cycle. Then what happens? If an AC source is connected then polarity changes periodically, polarity changes with equal interval of time. See, just comparison. If you take a closed path of circuit connected to a DC source with a cell or battery, then current always flows from high potential to low potential and polarity is constant. This is this. If you connect a closed path of conductor to an AC source, 
during positive half cycle suppose during positive half cycle this is negative this is positive okay polarity is positive polarity is negative this is high potential this is no pull low potential and current will flow from high potential to low potential this is for time t by 2 means half the period of ac in next half period in next half period means for negative half cycle polarity will be reversed polarity will be reversed means in next half cycle this will become high potential this will become low potential so polarity of ac changes continuously in positive half cycle this end is positive this end is negative in negative half cycle polarity reverses this end is positive this end is negative thus direction of current accordingly will be reversed in positive half cycle if current is clockwise in negative half cycle current will be in anti clockwise order we'll discuss it in brief in alternative current okay now an ac source is connected ac source of high frequency high frequency ac source a part of a part of megahertz a part of megahertz and we know we will discuss in ac indian standard frequency of ac is only 50 hertz indian standard frequency of ac is only 50 hertz but in cyclotron high frequency ac source is used a part of megahertz clear high frequency okay and the basic fundamental we will discuss how ac is produced if a coil is rotated in a magnetic field if a coil is rotated in a magnetic field then alternating emf and alternating current will be produced okay if a coil is rotated in a magnetic field then alternating emf and alternating current will be produced and this is coil rotating in a magnetic field and number of rotations per unit time is called as frequency and frequency of ac is very high we will discuss why high frequency ac is used ok so another point here an opening is there very near to periphery an opening is here this opening is called as window and of course here we have kept we have kept it uh, we have kept this is this is a deflector deflector which is negative means charge is negative negatively charged deflector is placed and here we have kept a kept a target this is a target okay and just at the center just at the center there is a source s s is s is source of positive charge as we have discussed cyclotron only accelerates positively charged particles like protons alpha particles okay any any positively charged particles but not heavier ones positive particle not up to heavier ones okay heavier positive charge is heavier as compared to uh, suppose for example mass of proton is much more than mass of electron so positively charged particle of moderate mass okay so this is all about construction of cycle okay then now working of cyclotron how cyclotron works how can you achieve very high speed of charged particles what 
work. AC source of positive charge C, these two D shaped conductors are metallic and also hollow. Hollow metallic D shaped conductor. And you know, here magnetic field is in outward direction, means perpendicular to the plane of the D. And again, an electric source, alternating source is connected to the D and you know inside a hollow metallic conductor electric field is zero. Means inside the metallic D electric field is zero. So inside the metallic D only there is magnetic field perpendicular to the plane of the deeds. Is it clear up to this? Is it clear? Then now let's discuss. Suppose at any instant a positive charge particle is emitted from this source. When it is emitted from the source, let at t is equal to 0. Polarity of d2 is negative here I am showing south pole. Polarity of D, D2 is negative and polarity of D1 is positive. And at this instant, at an instant, a positive charge particle is emitted from this source. Positive charge particle. When a positive charge particle is emitted from the source, immediately, see, in this region, means in the space between the two D's there is electric field there is electric field and here this is positive this is negative and in this case direction of electric field is from positive to negative and as we have discussed perhaps from the electric field distance between two oppositely charged D's should be very small DR is very small this distance is very small. Okay. So that electric field is stronger. If electric field is stronger. Acceleration is QE by mass. So if electric field is stronger. Then acceleration is more. As soon as an. As soon as. A positively charged particle is emitted from source immediately. It is accelerated towards D2. Since D2 is at low potential or at the negative here a positive charge is emitted and it experiences a force towards negative thus it enters thus it enters into d2 with some increasing velocity let v1 increasing speed let v1 okay suppose it is released with initial velocity zero but electric field at this instant is from D1 to D2 in this space. Thus, the charge will get accelerated. Though it is uh, initial velocity, that is initial velocity 0, but it moves to inside of D2, then its velocity increases and it enters into the D's, D2. Its velocity becomes V1 when it enters into D2. Now, now see. Direction of velocity is parallel to this plane. And direction of magnetic field is perpendicular to the plane. And here, magnetic field is B in the outward direction. And what is the concept? If charge particle is projected perpendicularly, to the direction of magnetic field, it will execute a circular path. Okay. Now this charged particle will experience a force and this force provides a necessary centripetal force. Force experienced by magnetic field provides centripetal force and centripetal force only changes direction. So the path will be a circle. Okay. 
the path will be sound. But see, immediately it will change its direction and execute circular path, but it can't complete a circular path inside D2 because it just changes its direction and completes a semicircular path in total time. Our circular path is 2 pi m by cubic. Then for this time is pi m by cubic. Time is equal to pi m by cubic to cover a semicircular path. Semicircular path. Okay. And here radius is some extent smaller. Radius is smaller. And as soon as it comes out from D2, when it comes out from D2, in this time, it comes out from D2. So, within that time, the polarity of these are reverse. Means, this becomes now negative and this becomes now positive. This is the concept. This is the concept. So, what is that concept? This is called as a resonance condition. A resonance condition. What is meant by resonance? Means time period of revolution of charge particle is equal to time period of AC. See, time period of AC, as we have discussed, as we have discussed, a complete cycle of AC, time is T, and this time is T by 2. T by 2 is QM by Q. So, time period of AC, is equal to time period of revolution of charge. So obviously half the time T by 2 is equal to T by 2 for the circular motion. Okay. Time period half the revolution of his. So it means frequency. Frequency of revolution is equal to frequency of AC. Frequency of revolution of charge particle is equal to frequency of AC. This is called as resolution, resonance condition. This is called as resonance condition. Okay? Means when the charge particle completes semicircular path and comes out, polarity of AC changes from positive to negative. Okay. So, in this interval of time, polarity of AC is reversed and now D1 becomes positive, sorry, D1 becomes negative and D2 becomes positive when it comes out. So, when D1 becomes positive, in the space between the two Ds, there is electric field, again this charge particle is accelerated and velocity becomes V2, or speed is V2, then obviously V2 is greater than V1. Means speed increases, means acceleration takes place in this space, in this gap between the two Ds. Because inside the Ds, charge particle, Speed of charge particle will not increase because force is perpendicular to velocity of charge particle. Okay. So, here it comes out and again it completes a circular path. Means semicircle. See, radius of this semicircle is less as compared to radius of this semicircle. But time period and frequency, time period and frequency 
are independent of radius as you see from the relation time period and frequency independent of radius and time period or frequency i am writing here time period or frequency or frequency independent of independent of radius and speed radius and speed of charge particle of charge particle see again i am discussing suppose this is the source so positive charge a positive charge is emitted from the source at that instant d1 is negative d1 is positive and d2 is negative when it is just released then in this space there is electric field stronger electric field because distance is less so the strong electric field accelerate the charge particle inside to the hollow d shaped metallic container d2 and as soon as it enters d2 electric field is vanished electric field is vanished because inside the d is inside the metallic container there is no electric field only there is magnetic field so magnetic field is perpendicular to velocity so the charge particle covers a semi circular path and enters and moves away means exit away from this d2 from this d2 as soon as it emerges out then in that time means in half the time this is t by 2 in this half the time polarity of d is reversed in half the time so when it end, when it moves away from this d d2 then in that interval of time polarity is reversed now d1 is negative d2 is positive again it is accelerated to inside of d1 because now d1 is positive so when it enters into d1 again electric field is vanished there is only magnetic field perpendicular to this velocity this is direction of velocity again the charged particle completes a circular path but with some greater radius okay and again it comes out with increasing velocity here velocity increasing here also velocity again increased here also velocity again increased means velocity increases in this region where there is electric field means in the small gap between two dots okay so again velocity increases and it enters into d and as soon as it enters d2 electric field vanishes again magnetic field is perpendicular so radius of circle again increases and this process continues this process continues see distance goes on increasing distance goes on increasing and finally when the charge particle reaches near the periphery of d see distance goes on increasing as we have discussed b square is equal to u square plus 2s if s is more then speed is more now it moves in circle moves in circle radius of circle goes on increasing goes on increasing so distance increases and when it reaches near the periphery of d its velocity becomes maximum okay and here there is a deflecting deflector of negatively charged so it has a high velocity and this is negatively charged this negatively charged deflector deflects it out and it moves away and hits on the target to produce nuclear reaction okay 
to produce nuclear reaction. This is the concept. This is the concept. When charged particle enters into the DIG electric field vanishes, only magnetic field perpendicular to velocity, so makes the charged particle moves in a semicircle and comes out from one of the digs. And when it comes out from one dig, then polarities are reversed. If this was initially positive, after half cycle is complete, means T2, you, after the interval of time T2, polarities are reversed, D1 becomes positive, and again it is accelerated, velocity increases in the space, and inside it again covers a semicircular path, and so on, so on, so on. Okay, and as we have discussed, these are the relations of circular motion. See, here electric field in cyclotron, electric field is perpendicular to magnetic field. So this is called as crossed fields. Crossed fields. Okay, electric field is parallel. On this plane, magnetic field, dark field, we are taken perpendicular to the plane. And here, this is formula for time period. Okay, time period for one complete revolution is independent of radius and independent of velocity. Whatever may be the increase in radius, time period and frequency will not change at all because time period and frequency independent of radius and speed of particle. Okay. And resonance condition we have discussed. Fine. Now about speed. See, speed is equal to QVR by M and speed directly proportional to radius as we have discussed uh, from very beginning if the charge particle moves through very larger distance then speed will more okay and speed is directly proportional to radius and radius is maximum at periphery of beach periphery of these so at periphery of these radius of maximum so v is maximum at periphery of these so when the charge particle reaches near the peripheral region its speed becomes maximum okay so one concept speed directly proportional to r to have more speed, to have more speed, the deeds means surface of deeds, total cyclotron, surface of total cyclotron means both the deeds should be very large. Okay. And there are different types of cyclotron of different uh, uh, radii for different purposes. Okay. And some examples are there, even there are cyclotrons of radius in several meters also. Say for example, 18 meter radius, cyclotron is also there. After 1970s, the cyclotron of a very larger radius was used for specific purpose. Okay. This is about the construction and working of cyclotron and as we have discussed a high moving charged particle is required for bombardment, for nuclear reaction or for radioactive decay or to impart the charged particle to inside of metal so as to increase quality of metal. Okay. See. To have. To Impart the charge particle means to produce either radioactive uh, decay 
और न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन और मेटल काइनेटिक एनर्जी छोड़ दी मैक्सिमम काइनेटिक एनर्जी फॉर्मूला पर काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज हाफ एम भी स्क्वायर एंड काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू हाफ एम फॉर्मूला पर स्पीड इज क्यू वी आर बाई एम मींस भी स्क्वायर क्यू स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर आर स्क्वायर बाई एम एंड फाइनल काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू क्यू स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर आर स्क्वायर बाय टू एम चार्ज इज कॉन्स्टेंट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज यूनिफॉर्म मास इज कॉन्स्टेंट मींस काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज मैक्सिमम इफ रेडियस इज मैक्सिमम क्यू वी स्क्वायर बाय टू एम इनटू मैक्सिमम रेडियस इनटू मैक्सिमम रेडियस and radius is maximum at peripheral zone so kinetic energy is maximum at peripheral zone okay so this is about cyclotron now some limitations of cyclotron some limitations okay question for numerical purpose it may be asked this frequency frequency of ac is equal to frequency of cyclotron so this is called as cyclotron frequency numerical simple numericals you may direct use the formula suppose it is asked to calculate cyclotron frequency just use this formula you can get it all are direct questions uh, and as we have discussed motion of charge particle in magnetic field the numericals very formal And direct numericals you just put the values required values and get your answer of the numerical limitations limitations so cyclotron cyclotron can't accelerate. neutral particles neutral particles means uh, if a particle has a resulting charge zero then cyclotron can't accelerate yes we can give high velocity to neutral particles or neutrons how if a positive charge particle is comes out from cyclotron with high speed and it collides with and it collides against in neutral particle then momentum will be transferred to neutral particle and neutral particle will, will move with high kinetic energy but cyclotron doesn't accelerate directly to a neutral charge particle because resulting charge of neutral charge particle is zero if there is no charge Then there is no force because force is Q V V sine ninety. If Q V is zero, then force is zero. Okay. So we have discussed cyclotron accelerates positively charged particles like protons, alpha particles, etc. So can cyclotron accelerate electron? No. Cyclotron can't accelerate electron. a negatively charged particle ha as we know mass of electron is much much less than mass of proton if mass is very small then it instantly means in a very small interval of time acquires very high speed so what happens if speed is too high you know the relation If m is moving mass, m not is rest mass. Then relation between moving mass and rest mass is like this: m not divided by square root of d square by c square. And c is the speed of light, v is speed of charge particle. Okay. Of course, we know no particle or no body can move with velocity of light, but if if V is nearly equals to C. Say 
V is equal to 10 to the power 5 or 10 to the power 6 meter per second. Electron, since mass is very small, acceleration is forced by mass. If mass is very small, then acceleration will be tremendously high and immediately the electron can reach at very high speed. You see, if this is V square by C square, if V is nearly equal to velocity of light, you know value of C 3 into 10 to the power 8. Order of velocity of light is 10 to the power 8 and order of this velocity is 10 to the power 6. Then 1 minus V square by C square will be much less than 1. 1 minus V square by C square will be much less than 1 if V is nearly equal to C. If 1 minus V square by C square is much less than 1, then this mass means moving mass will increase. Suppose this comes, suppose this comes, for example, suppose this comes uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, then m will be equal to m divided by 6 by 10, m not divided by 6 by 10, so m is equal to 10 by 6 of m not, okay? And it may be written as, it may be written as 5 by 3 times of rest mass. So what will happen? If a negatively charged particle of smaller mass is projected into cyclotron from this source, then it will achieve velocity in a very short interval of time, if velocity is very high, then mass of charge will increase. Then what will happen if charge is increased? See, formula for frequency, frequency is inversely proportional to mass. If mass increases, then frequency then frequency of cyclotron, Fc means cyclotron frequency. If mass increases, then cyclotron frequency will decrease. Then what will happen? What will happen? As we have discussed uh, resonance condition, frequency of revolution of charged particle must be equal to frequency of AC source. If mass increases, then frequency of cyclotron decreases, which doesn't match with frequency of AC. Okay, so it will not match. So, suppose a charged particle is projected, negatively charged particle is projected, moves with high velocity into the D, then it mass increases. If mass increases, frequency decreases. If frequency decreases, due to increase in mass, frequency decreases. If frequency decreases, then time increases. Then it will reach here when the polarity, change in polarity will not match. If frequency were same, at the instant it just exits out, polarity will be changed. If mass increases, then frequency will not match. So in that case, we will say this is failure of cyclotron. It can't accelerate charged particle, negatively charged particle due to smaller mass. Okay? This is theoretical discussion on cyclotron okay and some other limitations are also there some other limitations are also there cyclotron can't accelerate cyclotron can't accelerate of course i have written neutral particles so cyclotron can't accelerate neutral neutral particles and cyclotron can't accelerate smaller charges of smaller mass like electrons are negative charges okay
Thanks, my children. Thank you.